<laughs> okay, so we finished our uh, lab work. Are we gonna do a review? Uh, I just came in. I didn't even look at, look at my notes. I may forgot. If I forgot, you need to tell me what it is. Okay. So uh, the big chunk of the material in the exam three is aerobic respiration, the housing, and the ATP calculation. So we can do that. So first thing, what you get is you get a glucose. Okay, this is a glucose. So if we write down the structure. We'll give you extra points. So OH, H, H. Uh, this is OH, this is H, it doesn't matter because it's a, uh, okay, so I'll just, and then you have uh, H, CH2, OH. Okay, this is everybody knows, that's glucose. Okay, glucose, the first thing first, then, is you're gonna have to hydrolyze one ATP becomes ADP, and uh, release one phosphate, and that becomes glucose 6-phosphate. So, go here. That's the same thing. Okay. H, O, H, H, O, H, O, H, H, O, H, 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 C, H, 2, O, that is a phosphate. So this is called glucose 6 phosphate. Okay, then you go here, the second step, the next one is do the isomerization. So become what? Fructose. So what we do? We're gonna draw like that. Okay, then we go here, CH2, O, H, O, H, then you go here, O, H, 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 O, H, and remember very careful, this is H. So CH2, O, this is a phosphate. So what is this? Fructose, six phosphate. This is isomerization, so nothing changed. Is that right? Chemical the same, and the molecular weight is the same, chemical structure difference. Okay, then you go down here, this is the important one. This is not balanced, the fructose 6-phosphate. So what we do, we have to make it a balance. So we do like that. Therefore, CH2, O phosphates, OH, then you go OH, H, OH, OH, go here, H, CH2, O phosphate. What is this? Fructose, one, six, by phosphate. Okay. Now, where is this this guy comes at? There's only one phosphate there. How come it become fructose one six by phosphate? That is because ATP hydrolyzed become ADP and uh, release a phosphate, and this phosphate goes here. So at this stage, how many ATP they used? Minus two ATPs. Okay. So this guy, it's a very symmetric stuff. It's very easy to break down like this. So we go here, we're gonna talk about is go to aldose, which is three carbon sugar. So we get CHO, CH, OH, CH2. What is this guy called? Gly, zero, behind, three, phosphates. Okay? Then let's go down to here. Then one, three, biphosphate, glycerate. So C, O, O, phosphates, C, H, H, C, H, two, O, phosphate. Is that what what they call it? One three glycerodehyde biphosphate. Okay. Glycerodehyde biphosphate. Okay, where is this phosphate comes from? Comes from somewhere else. But what happened here is something magic. 
NAD reduced to NADH2. This is important here for aerobic respiration. Okay? So you go here. What are we going to do? 3 phosphoglycerol. HOH, CH2O phosphate. Where is that phosphate is gone? Because what happened here is ADP and the phosphate becomes ATP. So 3 phosphoglycerol. Okay, 3 phosphoglycerate. Okay, when do you have a 3 phosphoglycerate, what are we going to do? 2 phosphoglycerate. H, C, H, O, phosphate, you go here, C, H, 2, O, H. So what is, what, what is this guy? That's 2, phosphor, glycerate. Okay, this guy doesn't do anything. It's a very similar is isomerization, but we don't say isomerization, we call it a mutase enzyme, is that right? You don't have to worry about the enzyme. So we go here. Then become what? Analyzation. You're going to lose water. So this guy is gone. This guy is gone. So COOH, C phosphate, double bond, CH2. This one is important. That's phosphor anohyrovate. Okay, nothing happened for phosphate, so you don't have to worry. Then we go up here. Last step is important. What is this guy? Pyruvate. Because the phosphate is gone. So ADP, add the phosphate, becomes ATP. Okay, this one is gone. That's pyruvate. So that is one chain of the glyph. Hollysis. Is that right? That's glucose. This is fructose. One six biphosphate finally become a pyruvate. So how many ATP generated here? You have one here. There is a one here. So two substrate level phosphorylation generated ATP. But don't forget, because this is part of the aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration. Okay, so this has to be three ATPs right here. In your well, chemistry class, you did a 2.5 ATP. It's okay, because this is think about the oxygen phosphate ratio. I use three, okay? So what we do, add the three ATPs. Then we multiply by 2 equals 10 ATPs. But what happened is because they used the 2 at here, we call it an investment area. So you add 10 ATPs. How many they generate? 8 ATPs. Okay, this is be careful. Well, we talk about ATPs because, 8 ATPs, because glycolysis is part of the aerobic respiration. If glycolysis is by itself, it is only two ATP generated because this guy is not consideration. Okay, so we have a pyruvate. Then we go here. This is a big one. Okay, pyruvate comes. What's the first step? Transition step become acido CoA. So SCOA, and this step is losing carbon dioxide happened is NAD reduced to NADH2. Okay, this is an important step, so we're going to circle this one. Okay, now we go. Citric acid cycle. And we said, do citric acid cycle, you should know what is citric acid. That is the basic. CH2, CH2, go CH, COOH, sorry, this is OH, 
CH2 and COOH. This is citric acid. Okay, we don't have cis ascorbic gas acids for bacteria, so we skip that. We directly become isocitric acid. What means iso? Isomerization. So same thing. When you go here, H, C, O, O, H. Then you go here, C, O, H, H, C, O, O, H. When you see this structure, this is ready to, to lose some something. So this is isocitric acid. This is not special, okay? Just isomerization. Okay, there's something happening here. It's this big one. What going to be here? COH, CH2, CH2, so double bonds comes here. This is the big guy, alpha keto glutarate. And this is happens, here's NAD, reduced to NAD, H2, and then lose carbon dioxide. So we're gonna have to circle here. Okay, alpha keto glutarate, go here. COOH, this is gonna go. CH2, CH2, COO, then SCOA. What is that? Susinel, Susinel, uh, COA. Okay, this is the same thing. What happened here is NAD reduced to NADH2 and the loose carbon dioxide. So we have to circle this guy here. Okay, this guy here is important. Okay, now we go here. This is easy to lose, so what we have? COOH, CH2, CH2, and then we COOH, succinate, succinate. Don't forget, this happened is when GDP becomes GTP. At this moment, we call it GTP, is the same thing as ATP, okay? Succinate, then they go here. When you ever see the thing like that, CH2, CH2 in the middle, it's very easy to lose. So what we lose? Double bonds, COOH. What is this? Fumarate. Okay, what's the H go? <coughs> Following adenine dinucleotides becomes FADH2. Okay, this we have to circle. That's a big one. Okay, now we go here. When fumarate, you see CH, CH double bonds in the middle, very easy to put something back. So what is goes back? So C, H, O, H, let's draw a little bit better. So go here is C, O, O, H, C, H, O, H, C, H, 2, C, O, O, H. What is this guy? Malate. Do you like malic acids in the beer? That's what it is. Okay, then you go here. This is easy to go loose too. When you see OH, OH in the middle, that's not stable. Because energy control, we always have to be stable. So what, what, what this becomes? CH, CH, is that right? Oxaloacetate, sorry, that's not correct. That is loose one, so this is gonna be CH2. It's going to be CH2. Oxaloacetate. How to write oxaloacetate? I may forgot the last one. So, what are we going to do? See, I forgot, but I know something. So, what we have? <coughs> Is that correct? Okay. Oxaloacetate. Can you go back? See, I even forgot, but I know the structure. I know it's going to lose what? H2, then because FAD reduced to FAD H2, that's important. That's where the H goes. So H have to lose. When you lose here, here. So what is this called? Citric acid. Citric acid. Okay, now how many ATP? They're here, three here. Three here, three, one, two, two. I know here you guys do 1.5, but it's, a, it's, a, it's okay. So how many? One, two, three. Three, uh, sorry, that's NAD, become NADH2. That's three. So that's three multiplied by four, 
add 2, add 1 equals what? 15. Because the circle is 2. Because coming from here, that's 2 circle. That's 2 circle. So we have to multiply by 2. So 15 multiplied by 2 equals 30 ATPs. And then what happened? We have uh, 8 generate here through the glycolysis as part of the aerobic respiration chain. So we add 8 ATPs. So how many totals do we get? 38 ATPs. So in the exam 3, you need extra points. Chemical name each 0 0.5 points structure each 1.0 point. So that's your extra points. So how many points there? Millions of. I told you, I, yes? Will the structures be like in a bank or do we have to draw them all out? You have to draw, draw them out. But you actually know glucose. So you can draw glucose 6 phosphates. Yeah, something you forgot is okay, I'll kill you. I didn't come, I drove one, one and a half hour from Pittsburgh. I teach the 30, 30 minutes. I just wrote it. I mean, I mean, forgot about something. But you know, the, you know the story, you should be fine. Is that right? You know the story, you should be okay. It's not difficult. Good? Can you do that? If you don't know the structure, what you can do? Name, you know it. Is that right? You at least know glucose. This is 1.5 points. You know pyruvate, is that right? And you know citric acid, you at least can write something. So this is what we give the students every year. More or less, you get some extra point. So that's good. And at the same time, if you're animal science, animal nutrition science major, you're also taking the biochemistry class, or animal nutrition biochemistry, whatever it's called. And you still get a review, so that's a good chunk. Okay, yes? So we don't have to memorize like where the ATPs are being used, we just have to remember how many ATP are being used. Oh, you need to know how, how to calculate. Okay, but not where it is in the cycle. Like, uh, does that mean where it is in the cycle? <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do in the lecture the review again. If you don't need the extra points, what you need to do, you only need to know where the ATP generate. You can omit all the chemistry. That's for some of your freshman or sophomore, because you never learned about biochemistry. But you need to know where the ATP generate. You don't need to even worry about chemical. For example, you know somehow around here there's a two ATPs of gum. Somehow around here, there's two ATP generate, and there he is, NAD becomes NADH2. You don't even need to know what's a chemical was it. Okay, now in here, you need to know there's a one place, one place, one place, oh, happen to NAD become NADH2. Another place, happen to FAD becomes FADH2. You need to know where they generate, but you don't need to know chemistry, name, or structure. Because this is a bi microbiology class. But in order to encourage you study, especially someone didn't do very well in the exam one, exam two, I don't want you to give up. So exam three, we give you a lot of extra points. The second bunch of the extra points will be the side chain of amino acids and ATGC, the structure and the name, plus ATP structure. It's not difficult, I'll talk in the lab, in the, in the lecture. I will review next week, Thursday, okay? To talk about the all side chain. That gave you 50 or 60 extra points for the exam three. Okay, that's the deal.